All right, well, if we can do it, I can do it. Like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I gotta stop, stop complaining about it. But I, I think Diddy is a challenging character, right? For sure. In a game full of characters that blow you up in a couple hits, Diddy's one of those characters that has to play a lot of neutral. And that introduces a little bit of variance into your play. But as a player like Zenodo, that variance is kept to a minimum just due to how strong he is in this neutral game. For sure. Oh, wow, we almost saw a stop taken there. And, you know... I'm not gonna lie to you. I love characters like Duck Hunt, but this is this is not going well for for longer right now. <laughs> oh, I think definitely not. No one was under any illusion that it was going <laughs> well. And unfortunately for longer, part of the problem with this matchup is if you commit to the zoning and commit to the range, that gives Diddy a free banana. He's just able yeah. to pull it for free and he's able to start that. And then all of a sudden, you're kind of a worse zoner than he is because <laughs> anytime you throw something out. He's gonna throw a big old trip banana at you, and uh, your your life's gonna be ruined. So <laughs> and Diddy can pull up on you so quickly too. He's got the IM. That's what I call his side. It's the instant monkey. <laughs> he just he can just teleport across the stage and grab or hit you. You know, like what are you what are you meant to do when Duck Hunt is supposed to be uh, you know a, a big setup heavy character? You're yeah. supposed to be able to do your little tricks with your toys. Like Diddy's got better toys than you. Yeah, Diddy's he, the rich kid. He, he quite literally is the rich kid. <laughs> He's playing PlayStation, bro. Right? <laughs> you got like a Turbo Graphics 16, yeah. and he's got like a PS5. You know, the Commodore 64 is not doing it anymore, <laughs> man. Oh. <laughs> no, like in all seriousness, Monkey Flip is such a strong tool, and it's, it's strong without even using it, right? Yeah. Because just the threat of it. Yeah, Diddy's able to hold that banana while the monkey flip's available. It just means there's so many more things you have to worry about, including shielding, which would typically be the counterplay to the banana. For sure. Yeah, this is... Uh, we're, we're not even three minutes down, and Zenodo's looking to, to clean this up already. Like, I, this is not good. <laughs> we watched Cake play earlier on the other stream and, and noticed another tough thing about Duck Hunt is he's got all these setups, you know, he's got all these combos, he's got all these, you know, things that he can do to try and get hits, to try and get kills, but none of them kill very early. No. You know what I mean? Like, when you see a, like, a really elaborate Pac-Man setup and a really elaborate, you know, snake setup, it usually comes with, you know, the fact that it kills at, like, 40%. Right, right, right? Really elaborate duck hunt combos and like kill confirms and stuff kill it like 120. Like it sucks. Duck hunt, uh, duck hunt is the closest thing to just a regular dog being put in the game. <laughs> like shout out him for trying at least. But yeah, like you were saying, the duck hunt specifically has to work so hard, not necessarily to get damage, but just to to get their opponent to kill percentage. Yeah. And then what setups do you really have at high percent anyway? It's like you pretty much already have to be a part of it. Diddy can just choose not to participate. Not only that, but like, even stuff like can and, and moves that look like they should kill, like you can live can at 160%, like it's brutal. Yeah, super brutal. That great game one there from Zenodo. Yeah, he looked clean, man. Not skipping a beat on that game one. Looking well in control of the neutral, of the advantage state, putting longer on the back foot. We just really never saw him get to set up his zone. You know, Zenodo got hit, you know, here and there, poked around here and there, but just seemed well, well in control of that game. Honestly, fighting against a Duck Hunt as any character, really just like if if, if they're not if they're not hitting you with if they're not hitting you with side B a million times or the can. Or you're not getting cheesed by like the little the little guys, you know, his, his yeah, minors. Yeah, the, the guys. <laughs> it's like, what what is this character really gonna do to me? Like, I might get hit a couple times, and, and then what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially like if the duck hunt doesn't have like really crazy uh, clay pigeon combos and stuff like that. It's like, what is the worst that is realistically gonna happen? The worst that's gonna happen is you're gonna take 40. Yeah. And it's like, even in this instance, okay, we took 14. Cool. <laughs> Every little bit counts. Yeah, unfortunately, like you said, we're, both, we're seeing both of these characters play kind of the nickel and dime game. The unfortunate part is Diddy gets a really consistent, you know, 25 plus every single time he hits you. And yeah. it's never going to fail. Combine like, that with the fact that his neutral is better, he's able to threaten banana, monkey flip, all of these things. He's just got more ways to open you up than Duck Hunt does. Yeah, if Duck Hunt's playing like the nickel and dime game, Diddy's got loonies and toonies. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, those, those, are, those are just big, useful coins.
Yeah, shout out on stream if you know what loonies and toonies are. <laughs> yeah, hey, listen, it was a Canadian tournament, all right? Oh, wow. All right. All right, all right boss. All right, he didn't have the banana. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just threw himself in the blast zone. <laughs> Yeah, so, sometimes people get a little lost in the sauce. <laughs> you know, you're like, I'm going to swag on this guy. It's like, I don't know if you are. We've all been there. Oh, wow. Okay. Never mind. He is going to swag on <laughs> like, <laughs> I take it back. I take, he's like, I SD'd? All right. How about I take your stock as penance, man? <laughs> That's a charity stock is what that is. <laughs> oh, that hurts. And now Longer actually had a chance to put himself back in the game, but Zenodo equaled that up and actually took the lead back so fast. But for the first time this series, we've seen this ledge pressure come through pretty Pretty well. Oh no. Do not, man. Do okay, not, don't do it again. Yeah, if, if he was able to get back in and down her, I'm, I'm hopping off the mic. There's nothing else that I can oh, say. Oh, and it, it's one of those things you can see it in his eyes. Just when he monkey flip back, you're like, you yeah. know what he wants. You know what he wants. Don't give it to him. Please don't Please give it to don't him. Give yeah. it to him. <laughs> it's like, I see this clip happening and I don't like it. The EMG social media guys are looking like, Please give it to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. And the monkey flips off stage. Zenodo, not afraid to go for that option deep and will secure the kill because of it. Very nice work from Zenodo. Yeah, just super clean gameplay there from Zenodo. And to be expected from somebody of his caliber, for sure. Like, just. I, if I'm longer, I really well. I'm looking forward to losers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because because <laughs> I, we're not counting that one. No, in no, my no. mind, I'm not counting that one. But that's just one of those situations where you just really, what can you do? It, it's tough too, right? It, and when you come to tournaments like this, when you you know travel a little bit and you open yourself up to playing these players that are just on a different level, right? Like. A lot of the time, you know, you might play one of your top players here and there. You go, you know, 2-2 at a local and you play two kind of mid-range players. Yeah. And